And welcome to this edition of the Native News Update on this Monday, April 25th. I'm your host for today's program, Paul Demain. And today we have uh, two pieces of information for you. The Sawyers County Sheriff's Department has confirmed the identity officially of last Friday's fatal stabbing on the Lacoudere Ojibwe Reservation community of Bacon Square as John J.B. McDaniels, 23, a member of the Bodine family, and a 2007 graduate of Hayward High School. Chief Deputy Bridget Cornbroke said that McDaniel's death has been ruled a homicide due to multiple stab wounds. John McDaniel's brother, Derek, 19, was critically injured with multiple stab wounds and is currently being treated in a Duluth, Minnesota hospital. A third individual, a 15-year-old juvenile, was injured as well during the incident and is also being treated in a Duluth hospital. Cornbroke said two adults have been arrested in connection with the incident. Caleb Michael Miller, 18, and Marvin Alex Corbine, 20, were charged with being party to homicide and party to attempted homicide. Corbine was injured during the event, treated and released from a Hayward Memorial Hospital, and was taken into custody the afternoon of April 22nd. Both individuals are being held on $50,000 cash bonds. State, tribal, and federal pro investigators have identified seven persons, in, persons, including Miller and Corbine, who went into the McDaniel residence at approximately 4.30 a.m. on April 22nd. Additional charges are being considered according to Cornbroke. Awake and Tribal Services, according to Pineview Funeral Home for J.B. McDaniels, whose Ojibwe name was McGee Zaints, is scheduled for Tuesday evening, April 26, with a 7 p.m. feast and Wednesday feast at 11 a.m. at the Pineview Funeral Home. Burial will follow at St. Francis Cemetery in Reserve, Wisconsin. And now, join with uh, me and Menominee Oneida activist Richie Plass, who brings us up to date about a legislator's attempt to repeal the Wisconsin mascot challenge legislation that allows Wisconsin citizens to raise the issue of appropriate use of mascots and force their removal depending on the findings of the State Department of Public Instruction. Richie Plus, you're on the uh, Menominee Indian Reservation in northern Wisconsin. It's been a while since we talked to you and it, perhaps the last time we talked to you, you were celebrating the signing of a mascot challenge law in the state of Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah, it was last year, just about this time. And my understanding is, is that might be repealed. I want to talk about that, and I want to talk about some of the other things that you're up to, where the uh, exhibit's going to be going and some sure. of the other things that are on your mind. Let's talk sure. about that mascot, Bill. Why would uh, anyone want to re repeal something that's just been passed uh, after 20 years of negotiations, compromise, lobby and everything else from the tribal community what do we got going down there in madison wisconsin well you know a lot of us think that it has to do with what went on with what went on in mcguanagall when mcguanagall high school you know when the challenge was made and they went through the hearing actually i was at the hearing and then dpi made the decision that mcguanagall had to stop using the name and and drop the the logo and everything and um I think that's where it starts from because um, what was amazing to me during that whole process down there at the hearing uh, and with the video that McGonagall High School shows, um, they keep talking about Potawatomi. Every other word was Potawatomi. And even the video they showed, might there might have been some renderings of Potawatomi uh time in life from way back, right. but they also showed images of uh, Ho-Chunk and Oneida, and they kind of put a disclaimer at the beginning of the film that um, some of the images were all Native American, but they kept talking about the Potawatomi. But then when the film changed from the historical presentation of that to today, and they showed the high school and people talking, there wasn't an Indian in sight. Not only wasn't there a Potawatomi, there wasn't an Indian in sight. And then they showed, you know, from the gym where it says Indian country and all this stuff. So I think when the decision came down from um, from DPI, they, uh, I believe it's uh, Representative 
Nash or Nash or Nash, I think it is. Right. And what he's uh, basing it on is what a lot of people are saying is that the procedure of the bill where someone, just one person can file that complaint with DPI and everything starts, his justification is, is that it's almost too much power just for one person to be able to do that. Then he's also saying that it, or what they're saying in the, in the recall uh, wording, if I remember right, um, that that's far too much power for one person and that DPI should not be the one involved in that process. Um, so it's rather complex and it's actually kind of, uh, don't make any sense to me or a lot of us, because just like what you said, you know, 20 some odd years we've been working on this and there's Republicans who supported the bill. And, right. and what's amazing is that, and I don't know if you know this or not, maybe you do, but I believe it's called SB 26 that's on the floor right now that that recall action is starting. Right. And they, and they actually put that under Homeland Security. I don't know if you knew that or not. No, you're telling me that uh, the, the mascot re challenge yeah. repeal bill? Yep. Has been put under Homeland Security somehow. Yep. What 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 is the what is the mascot? Describe it to us. What is the mascot? Yeah. You want my interpretation or? Yeah. Let's hear what your interpretation of what the mascot they're trying to defend is. They're still saying that, in their opinion, the schools in Wisconsin that still use the name or the image is still showing honor to all Native Americans. That's what they're saying. That's their justification on that on that side of it. What, um, and what is that mascot? Is it Indians, Redskins, Black everything. Hawk? What, what, it's everything. 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 It, it's just like a blanket. Just like how we started this process of, uh, of trying to educate and show people why some people find it offensive, they, the people that are, you know, trying to get the repeal done, are still saying, no, we are showing you honor. And what's amazing with that, and I'll go back to McGuanago, they didn't have one Potawatomi person, they didn't have any documentation from the Potawatomi Nation, they didn't have one elder from Potawatomi, there was no Potawatomi at all that show their support. And that's what we've been saying for years is that across Wisconsin, really there isn't any nation in Wisconsin that will give support for that. They, you know, they want it gone. So it's like, they're still not listening. They're, they're basically telling all of, all of the tribes in Wisconsin, well, we kind of don't care what you think. This is what we're going to do. Now to take it one step further, Senator Van Roy from, uh, he's actually from Green Bay. Right, right. And he's the chairman of the um, Homeland Security Committee. So I call him and I reintroduce myself because, uh, actually, again, thank you for, you know, posting my, my uh, rant and my article I had and then you printed in, uh, in Newsom Indian Country. He actually sent me an email again saying, you know, I supported the bill and I still support the bill. Okay? Right. And so when I called him about that and then I mentioned, you know, you're the chair of the Homeland Security and so it's coming under your committee. And he says, well, he says, far too much time and effort has been done to do the right thing and doing the right thing was passing that law. Okay. So in other words... You know, I, he just said, I think it's just a waste of time what they're doing and we should be, you know, progressive in what we want to do and what the bill has told us. I, I, so, think, I think the tribal chairman's position was that as well at the State of the Tribes address. Basically, we worked hard to do some positive things. Let's leave yep. that alone for right now. Exactly. And, and that leads me right into what you had said in the, in the beginning here. Uh, as we speak, I'm actually setting up the exhibit here at the library at the College of Menominee in Kashina, 
Uh, the exhibit will be here. Well, I'll have it up, you know, this evening, later on today and into this evening. But I'm scheduled uh, here for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday with the exhibit. Uh, there's a session scheduled for noon tomorrow, and then I'll be here into the evening on Wednesday. And then on, um, I'll take it down Thursday afternoon, and I'll actually go across the street to the convention center at the Menominee Casino Convention Center and set it up for the WIEA conference. And then next, next week, I'll have it uh, Wednesday and Thursday at UW-Stevens Point. And okay. what's really interesting, I was just telling Dale and everybody here, I have never been this busy with the exhibit this time of year ever. Since the second last week of March, I've been someplace with it, which is really good, you know. And yeah, I think the other thing that's really good is that it keeps growing. It does. It just right. keeps growing and growing. People people bring in stuff out of their attics and hanging yep. off of uh, Grandpa's uh, garage yep. walls and says, here, check this out. If you think that was exactly. offensive, check this out. Um, so it keeps on growing. The next time I interview you, I want to have a little table of stuff where you can just describe some of that stuff and show oh, it to certainly. the public out there. We'll do that in, within the next month as Cer this bill moves along. So College of the Menominee Nation this week for a few days. By this yep. weekend, it's across the street over at the uh, Menominee Nation Casino Convention Center. Yep. And next week down at UW-Stevens Point. Yep, next Wednesday and Thursday. And you're available for interviews where? And what's your email address or phone number? We'll put it up so people can call you right up if they want to donate or if they want to go see that. Sure. My email is just my name, Richie Plass at yahoo.com. That's R-I-C-H-I-E. P L A S S at yahoo.com. And if they'd like to give me a call, uh, I got my cell with me all the time. My cell is 920 615 6558. And the uh, website address for the exhibit is uh, www.changingwinds, which is plural, dot org. That's C H A N G I N G W I N D S dot O R G. Okay. And we got about one minute for you. If there's anything else that you want to add to this mix about what's coming up, what's in mind, what you're up to, what you aren't up to, you got 48 <laughs> seconds left now. <laughs> I, again, I just want to thank you, Paul, and thank uh, uh, Dale for all the support you've given us. But again, man, it's education. It is. It's, it's, it's our humor and our education. Because that's one thing when people look at the exhibit and they go, well, I know all of this. I've seen all of this. Good. And then I challenge them. I'll pick something up and say, well, then what is this? And they say whatever. And I go, no, no. you know. And so that's what it is. It's all education. That, that's, that, that's our main goal is just right. to educate. Thank you much. And hopefully you got something going on with another Harmony Cafe gig so we can get down do. to the Green Bay area. What's the dates on that? You got that? Uh, yeah. Actually, it's going to start on um, – it's going to be actually a whole week this year. Uh Friday to Friday, November, um, uh, wait, no, third, November 4th through the 11th. And actually on the 5th, which I believe is a Saturday, that's when we're going to do our music is all day Saturday this year. And then on November the 10th, which is a Thursday, we're having an all native, uh, fashion show. Uh, so cool. I, and, and, the, and the models are going to be from newborns to elders. All right. Sounds cool. We're going to be down. We're making our way down there already. We're cool. excited. All right. Thanks for Thanks joining. Miigwech and Wawanen for joining with us ah, today. Thank you. And that is the latest roundup of news from Indian Country on this edition of the Native News Update. We want to say thank you for joining with us and stop by again soon.